sunny days and cars go hand in hand. Songs, movies, and even books have been written about driving a convertible with the top down along a sun-drenched stretch of highway while enjoying the ocean breeze. But what about using the sun to power a convertible, or any car for that matter? In today's activity, we're going to build a vehicle that can actually harness the energy of the sun and use it to power a car. At this time, gather the following materials. Solar energy is currently used in a number of applications, including heating buildings and water, generating electricity, and the desalination, removal of salt, of seawater. We're ready to begin constructing the vehicle. First, locate the chassis plate and a ruler. Measure one inch from one of the ends of the board. At that measurement, make a mark on both sides of the chassis. Using the ruler, Draw a straight line across the board that lines up with the two marks. This is where the rear axle will go. We'll continue to work with the chassis plate. From the same end of the board, measure four and one half inches back and make a mark on both sides of the chassis. Again, use the ruler to draw a straight line across the board that lines up with these two marks. This is where the front axle will go. We're moving ahead. From both ends of each axle line, measure 1 4th inch and make a mark intersecting with the axle line. These four marks will be where the screw eyes are placed. Photovoltaic is a term that comes from the Greek word for light, photo, and volt is for the scientist Alessandro Volta, who was a pioneer in the field of electricity. We're back and ready to shape the chassis board. You can use a bandsaw and a template to make a tapered body shape. You also have the option to cut another shape, but be careful not to cut off the marks for the axles and screw eyes. If you don't have access to a bandsaw, you can use sandpaper to round off the edges of the chassis board. Once the chassis board has been shaped to your design, you are ready to insert the screw eyes. One at a time, carefully push the screw eyes where the 1 4th inch marks cross the axle lines. Take care to keep the screw eyes straight as you twist them into the board. Make sure the flat side of the screw eye is perpendicular to the axle lines. If you want to paint or put a finish on the chassis board, you should do that now. If you paint the underside of the chassis, take care not to get paint in the screw eye holes.
photovoltaic systems are currently used in a wide variety of consumer applications, such as calculators and watches. In addition, larger, more complex PV systems generate electrical power for pumps, satellites, and highway signs. Now we're ready to add some gears to the vehicle. From the gear font, detach gear I, which is the drive gear. There may be some burrs, called flashing, on the gear that will keep it from running smoothly. Using the hobby knife, carefully cut off any flashing. We're back. With the scissors, cut four one-fourth inch pieces of plastic tubing. These segments will be used as spacers on the axles. We're ready to begin working with the axles. Start an axle into the hole on one of the rear wheels. You may need to hold the wheel and push the opposite end against a solid surface to get it inserted on the axle. The axle should not extend past the other side of the wheel. Once we have the wheel on the axle, we're ready to push the drive gear on the axle end and push it until it's snug against the wheel. Add a spacer against the gear. Hold the car so that the bottom of the chassis board is facing up and the back end is toward you. From the left side, push the end of the axle through the two screw eyes on the back of the axle line. When you flip the car over, the wheel and gear will be on the right side. We're moving forward working with the axles. At this time, place another spacer on the end of the axle. Push the other rear wheel on the axle. For the wheels to turn properly, make sure the wheel and axle parts are not pushed together too tightly. Now we're ready to finish the front axle. Place the other axle into one of the front wheels. Follow with a spacer and then push the axle through the two front screw eyes. Follow with another spacer and the other front wheel. Again, make sure the parts are not too tight. If any of the wheels rub against the chassis, you can cut slightly longer spacers and replace the old ones. The sun's core is composed of dense gases and temperatures that are estimated to exceed 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. We're back and ready to work with the motor and pinion gear. Detach gear G or N from the gear font. Cut off any flashing and push the pinion gear onto the motor shaft. Locate the solar panel. One of the motor connection terminals will have a small dot by it. This is the negative side. Clip the solar panel black wire to this side. Clip the red wire to the other connection terminal. Photovoltaic cells are commonly known as solar cells and are constructed from semiconductor materials. Solar cells can be used in a wide variety of shapes and sizes and can be connected together to create larger photovoltaic or PV modules. Now we're ready to mount the motor to the chassis. Locate two adhesive tabs. 
Position the tabs so they line up between the rear wheels and are centered over the back axle. Once they are positioned, peel the paper backing off the tabs. Now that the adhesive tabs are in place, you are ready to attach the motor. Hold the motor so the shaft and gear are facing the same side as the drive gear. Mesh the two gears together so they work together but are not pushed too tightly. When the motor is positioned so the gears mesh, push the motor onto the adhesive tabs. The final step is to add the solar panel. Place two adhesive tabs on the back of the solar panel, one just under the wires and the other on the opposite end, hanging over the edge just a little. Peel the paper backing off the adhesive tabs. Press the solar panel onto the body and motor so the wire end is near the motor and the solar panel angles are toward the front of the chassis. Congratulations! You should now have a fully complete, fully functional Sun Zoom light solar car. You can take it outside on a bright sunny day and race it on a smooth, level surface. To explore more kits from Pitsco, check out our website at www.pitsco.com. <laughs>